Good Wednesday afternoon, everybody. Come on in. How are you? Hope you're having a God-blessed, beautiful afternoon like I'm having. Just wanted to stop by briefly to talk to you about a couple things that came my way this morning, but also to show y'all what I'm going to do with my little pizza here. I bought these pizzas at Sam's Club. They're mushroom uh, pizzas, just mushroom and cheese. Well, I love that. Nobody else does. So, I've been having them in the freezer, so it's time to pull them out. And they're pretty good for frozen pizzas. But y'all know I'm going to zhuzh it up. <clears throat> you know how I am about leftovers. So, what I'm going to do is move a lot of these mushrooms to one side. Because Corrine don't like mushrooms. So, I'm going to move. And I won't eat this twelve. This is like about a 12 inch. We're just gonna, this is what we're going to have for lunch, y'all. I only need one slice of it because I got this big old milkshake that I've made. And Green got him a nice big old vanilla shake that I made. So we're going to have, uh, and this is supposed to be one of them nice healthy ones. But what I'm going to do, I went into the freezer also and I found some meatballs and I found some meatballs and sausage. So what I did was just chop them up. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to put them right on top of this pizza. And I'm going to because I, just because I want to, I'm going to put me some um, olive oil right around the edges of this pizza. My hands are clean, by the way, y'all. You know how that goes. So anyway, this is what you can do with leftovers. Because like, again, I do not like to throw away good food. So I've got my uh, olive oil because I have to have my olive oil fixed every day. So this would be one way to help get my olive oil fixed. Now I've got some salad in the fridge. I may do some salad. Not going to eat a lot now because I'm, we're doing fish for dinner. This is just a quick lunch. Um, but I thought I'd share it. Just to show you, sometimes, you know, we buy stuff and stick it in the freezer and all that kind of stuff. And never get it out. So I, I cook one of these pieces about a month ago. So now I'm cooking the other one. Okay, here's the thing I'm going to do next. I'm just going to take this sausage and I'll put most of it over here because I'm not a meat person. I'm gonna, I've already chopped it up. This sausage was in the freezer. I'll put a little, little bit on my side. I want most of the mushrooms. And I'll eat and these meatballs are turkey meatballs. And I'll put a little bit of cheese on there at the appropriate time. Okay. It's <clears throat> so a little, little, little bit of the sausage. I give Kareem most of the meat because he's the meat lover. And then I'm just going to take this, uh, these meatballs, do the same thing. I'm just going to drop them right on top of here. All out to the edge of here. I want that meat all over. See how you can do with meatloaf? I mean, with meatloaf, with uh, leftovers. Don't throw your leftovers out. If you, especially if you got enough that will uh, possibly make a meal. And if you notice, this does not have, let me drop that. We don't have a lot of meat sauce on there because this particular pizza type, it came with no pizza. I'm not putting any peppers, no onions, no nothing. This is gonna be like a meat lovers type pizza. Okay, spread that out. And he'll be a happy camp because he'll be able to taste all that good old meat, y'all. Now, I'm gonna get a little, some cheese. I got some cheddar, I think, in the fridge. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of cheddar and a little bit of Parmesan over that, and we're gonna roll with it, okay? I've got some parm here. Sprinkle it with some Parmesan. A little bit of Parmesan. I think this is gonna be pretty good. <clears throat> oh, this is my nice, this is the first time I've used my pizza stone also. I'm gonna put some crushed red pepper here. Avalanche. A few crushed red, just a few. Green white pop stuff. Okay. And I'm gonna place some onion powder. And garlic powder. So sprinkle with some garlic powder. And I'm gonna sprinkle with some onion powder. Just put these little seasons on there. Uh, like I was saying, this is my pampered chef um, 
This is like a 24 inch, this is a huge piece of stone. I just went ahead and bought the big one. Cause I figured, you know, just like this, I could put the small one on here. But also if I was gonna make a nice large piece, I could make up to a 24 inch one. So, uh, what else I need to put on there? Cheese. I think I've got just enough left over from when I did from when I did that mac and cheese at the, for uh, other day. I got enough cheese, I think, left. Okay, see, not a lot of cheese because it already had some cheese on the bottom. I think um, and it's a white cheese. I can't even remember what kind. I don't even remember the brand of these um, particular. Pizzas on a bell bar. Let's go on. Okay. And we got us a nice little pizza out of all this stuff is basically left over. And of course, I'm going to put some of my Italian seasoning on here also. Okay. Complete seasoning. Uh, hope you all are having a God bless day. Oh, I know the thing I want to talk to you about. <clears throat> I was talking to someone earlier this afternoon and we were talking about, and th this will help somebody because it certainly helped me and it helped the person that I was talking to. It was just a conversation that just popped up. And I won't say I don't know where it popped up because God leads us in certain directions sometimes when it comes to, you know, talking about things. You think, where did that come from? Well, I know where it came from once we got started talking. Okay, now I've got my oven on 425, and I'm going to put this into the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes, y'all. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and get all these crumbs off. I don't have to scrub anything off in here later. Y'all hold just a sec. Let me do that. <clears throat> and now, we're going to go ahead and pop that pizza into the oven. Top rack. I love that um, that nice uh, pizza stone. It's a huge one, and uh, my neighbor was having one of those pampered chef things, I believe it is. And of course, I purchased one. Anyway, I'm gonna set this up for 12 minutes. Well, let's see, let's go. Yeah, let's do 12 minutes at 400 degrees is what I've got it on. And then I'll walk back in here, but. I'm just going to walk outside because I've got my nice little protein shake here. This is why I put my super beaks in. Let's, I'm just going to walk outside here for a minute and just talk to you just for a few minutes while I sit outside. Uh, this is where I was sitting and I felt so comfortable. We had a nice conversation. It flowed beautifully. It, the day is wonderful out here. It's just absolutely wonderful out here today. So, it's nice and sunny. It's sunny, but not bright sunny. So, basically, let me see if I can do my camera. Yeah, there we go. So, you can at least look at the flowers. So, anyway, we, <clears throat> me and a very dear person to me, we're talking about uh, relationships and how sometimes if you have some kind of odd or well, we won't even say odd but you have this little thing with certain people that you know um, I don't know you might say oh lord here they come oh here she comes I don't want to talk to them I don't want to deal with them we have to learn how to deal with people even in difficult situations and I'm going to make this short and sweet because we cannot walk around that stuff in us. Every time we see certain people, we go to the negative. Now, we know negative things happen, and that's going to always be, you know, we have to learn how to forgive certain situations. And most things we're never going to forget, but we can forgive them or get past them enough that we can be cordial. Because after all, the Lord asks us to love one another as he loves us. So we have to try to do good as often as possible. 
and do just what the Lord asks us to do. So in doing that, we have to learn how to say, if it's somebody that we have a difficult time with, rather than going to the negative and saying, oh, here they come, I know they're going to start something. You know, try saying, well, Lord, I thank you that I'm coming to the point in my life where I can try as best I can to pray for that individual and say, well, maybe this will be a positive situation when we meet today. Or maybe not even think nothing at all. Just get your mind in a neutral zone. Either. That's better than always going to the negative because what happens is you become resentful. Resentful is hard. It's difficult. It takes a lot of energy to live with resentment toward another person and especially if it's someone that you have to deal with if it's a family member if it's a co-worker you got to see all the time it's a neighbor whomever we have to come up with ways that we if we cannot do it most of the time in and of ourselves we have to develop a prayer life that's why i'm always saying pray without ceasing because there's always something to be prayed for and about just to live in this world and be cordial. We know everything Everything in my life is not peaches and cream and roses and hey, how you doing and hugs and I love you. Nobody's life is that every single day of your life. But the Word of God tells us to do good as often as possible. And I know for a fact that there are some people who go through this, oh, here she come, I can't stand, I know, you know. You go through that every day of your life. Try to make, you know, get maybe two days a week. I'm going to try and do better or be conscious of it. Because you have to be consciously aware of how you feel, what you're doing, and how you're responding and reacting to other people. We all go there. I go there. Some days I might, the kids will tell, oh, why don't you sound like you try, you know, whatever. And when we get remind somebody remind us, take it in stride and keep it moving. But you don't have to be like that every single time. And I guarantee you that if you try to take that situation in the other direction, you are the better for it. And like I was saying in that conversation this morning, to me, there's no better feeling than when you get to the point where that person or that situation just drags you out and you finally get to the point where you can cope with it, then you're able to either give a testimony that you worked your way through it and dropped it and let it go or that other person turned around and did something positive and now we can meet each other and greet each other. We don't have to laugh all over each other, but at least we can be cordial and kind like the Lord asked us to be toward one another. So just sort of take that and, and put it on a little poker chip somewhere. If you got a situation in your life where you're dealing with somebody that's difficult or a situation that's difficult, to try to start speaking positive thoughts about that situation or about that person. And watch God turn it around because he's listening and he's looking and he's watching. And certainly if you got children and grandchildren that are seeing and hearing these things, think one thing about these little babies they know when you know grandma's at odds or mom and dad is at odds or cousins or sisters and brothers whomever is at odds those little ones pick up on those uh kind of feelings they pick up on that those attitudes they pick it out of the air and especially when we have young adults that we're trying to be uh, the best we can be in front of them think about that it's not just about you and your ill feelings think about the people who look to you for something positive or to look to you for something better to display a loving kind way and again it doesn't have to, you don't have to be all over somebody but at least make the effort because trust me people looking at you will know what's going on they might not know every detail but they certainly will pick up on the negativity and especially those babies huh? them babies will call you out and tell on you uh, even when they think you saying something you don't have in a minute, they will call you out. And we don't want our children, our grandchildren, to watch us be negative toward one another and build up in them that that's the way you're supposed to treat people. So um, just put that on your little microchip, like I say, and give it some thought and uh, try to work toward a better way of handling and doing things. And see, won't God bless you according to your efforts 
in that situation. So that was it. That was what I wanted to say to you. So hang tight. I'm going to go back here and check my pizza in a few minutes. And we're going to sign out. And I'll be back this evening when I get ready to do my swatfish. It's time for swatfish, y'all. Okay, love you. And I'll be right back. Look at that little bird out there eating grass. I just had to film that. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't this the cutest? God's little birds. Look how free. See how free they are? They're not worried about all that foolishness. He's out there getting his little grass, uh, his little food out of the grass, the food that God supplied, and they can just take off and fly away. He's gone now. All up on the lamp pole. Look at him. See, that's why, that's why God tries to tell us Give no care for tomorrow. Look at what I do to the little birds, or for the birds. They are free to just fly away and go around and gather their food. God wants us to be have that same freedom, y'all. Be back. Okay, y'all. My leftover ingredient mushroom pizza is ready. We get ready to light into it. I added some butter and some garlic powder to it to make it interesting. So, listen, guys. Keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down. Pray without ceasing. Do something kind for someone. And until I cook dinner this afternoon, toodles.